Guy Fox Day, written by Sharon Bowes. Focus question Who was Guy Fox? Why is Guy Fox Day celebrated in the United Kingdom? What is Bonfire Night? Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason, and plot. We know no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Traditional nursery rhyme. On November 5th every year, people in the United Kingdom watch fireworks and attend bonfires. People cheer when a dummy, called a guy, on top of the fire goes up in flames. This is Guy Fox Day, or Bonfire Night. It celebrates a day in 1605 when the King of England and his government survived a plot to kill them. Who was Guy Fox? Guy Fox was born in 1570 in England. Queen Elizabeth I was the ruler then. At that time in Europe, Many Catholic and Protestant countries were at war. The Catholic religion was illegal in England in those days. Catholics who were caught practicing their religion were punished. Guy's grandparents were Catholic, but his parents were Protestant. Guy's father died, and his mother remarried a Catholic. At school, he made friends with people who were Catholic. When he was a teenager, Guy became a Catholic. He became angry about how badly Catholics were treated in England. When Guy was old enough, he left England to join the Catholic Spanish Army. He was a soldier for twelve years. He learned how to use gunpowder to make explosives. The Gunpowder Plot In 1603, Queen Elizabeth I died, and King James I took her place. He was a Protestant king who passed tough laws against the Catholic religion. Many English Catholics were still loyal to the King of England. However, Fox met other Englishmen in the Spanish army who were also angry about the king's treatment of Catholics. In April 1604, Robert Catesby led a group of men in a plot to kill King James I. The plotters asked Fox to join them. They needed him to make the explosives. Fox agreed. In May 1604, Fox met with Catesby and other plotters in London. They swore never to reveal their plan. Their plot was to blow up the Parliament buildings. The king and all of his government would be there. The plotters would start a rebellion with Catholic supporters. They would kidnap King James's daughter, Princess Elizabeth, and make her queen. Elizabeth was only nine years old. They believed that Catholic rulers could control her decisions. Robert Catesby lived in a house just across the river from Parliament. The plotters bought 36 barrels of gunpowder and stored them in his house. One of the group, Thomas Percy, got a job as a royal bodyguard. He moved into a house near Parliament. He was also able to rent a cellar beneath the buildings of Parliament. The group used a rowboat to take the gunpowder across the river from Robert Catesby's house at night. They hid it in the cellar beneath Parliament. Guy Fox pretended to be Thomas Percy's servant so he could easily enter the Parliament buildings. His job was to guard the gunpowder hidden in the basement. The opening of Parliament had been set for November 5th. 1605. The plotters were ready. 
caught. A secret letter was sent to a Catholic nobleman named Lord Monteagle. He was loyal to the king. The letter warned Monteagle not to attend Parliament on November 5th because something bad would happen. Monteagle showed the letter to the king's assistant. When the king heard this news, he ordered his men to search the Parliament buildings. The search party found firewood in the dark cellar. They did another search. This time they found Fox and the fuses and matches he was carrying. They looked under the firewood and discovered the barrels of gunpowder. Guy Fox was caught. He told the king's guards that he had wanted to blow up the king and his government. He was only sorry that the plot had failed. He insisted that no one else had helped him. Fox was put in prison in the Tower of London. On November 9th, he was forced to confess the names of the others in the group. On the morning of November 5th, the plotters had heard that Fox was in prison. They left London and tried to start a revolt against the government. On November 8th, a group of the king's men caught up with them. Robert Catesby and three others were killed in a gunfight. The rebellion had failed. The English courts sentenced each of the eight surviving plotters to death for being a traitor. In January 1606, Guy Fox and three others were executed. Their punishment was a warning to anyone who might try the same. Another Conspiracy? Some people believe that the king's own ministers might have helped the plotters. One of the king's ministers may have even written the warning letter. Perhaps the government knew the plotters had rented the basement and smuggled the gunpowder inside. Stopping the plot could have been a way to make Catholics look bad and create support for the unpopular king. There is no proof of this version of the story. However, stopping the gunpowder plot did give the English people relief. Their king was safe. Parliament officially made November 5th a day of celebration. The celebration was meant to strengthen the people's loyalty to the king. The Legacy of the Plot The holiday was first known as Gunpowder Treason Day. In the 17th century, people rang church bells and lit bonfires to mark the day. In England, then, people already burned dummies on bonfires. They believed that doing this would drive away evil spirits. On November 5th, people began to burn a dummy of Guy Fox on the bonfire. Bonfire Parties Some parts of Britain have special traditions for bonfire night. In the town of Lewis, in the south of England, people wear costumes and carry torches through the streets. Some towns burn dummies of famous people who are unpopular with the public today, instead of Guy Fox. In the 19th century, big firework displays and parades began. People marched to where the bonfire and firework displays were held. Now, the bonfires are put on by local organizations. Conclusion Guy Fox Day celebrates the failure of the gunpowder plot to kill the King of England. These events happened over 400 years ago. Today, people around the United Kingdom look forward to bonfires and fireworks on November 5th. Guy Fox Day has become a day to celebrate and have fun with friends and family. Some Fiery Facts once a year, Parliament's guards 
search the Houses of Parliament before the official opening. They make sure there are no plotters hiding in the basements. This is a traditional ceremony. The 2,500 kilograms, 5,512 pounds of gunpowder hidden by Guy Fawkes would have exploded out about 490 meters, 536 yards. Guy Fawkes has an island in the Galapagos Islands, Ecuador, named after him, called Isla Guy Fawkes. Connections Writing and Art Create a piece of art that represents the Guy Fawkes Day celebration. Write a summary of your artwork. Social Studies Research to learn more about Parliament in the United Kingdom. Create a poster showing the different parts and identify the role of each part.